women are the gatekeepers of sex. I don't know. I just feel like it sexualizes women. Wait, don't you have an OnlyFans? Are you used to? I know. Like, yeah. She already talked about that. She's capitalizing oh. on men. No. Being oh, I wasn't hitting. I was just. I don't like that women can be overly sexualized. Definitely. You're Ever. benefiting. I am benefiting from, from that. Yeah, that's true. But it doesn't mean I like love it. Well, that's convenient, don't you I think? know. I do. I think it's very hypocritical. But why wouldn't I profit off of that if the world is that way? Ooh, girl, look at that little midget baby. Oh my god. Right, like he's so tiny and he's so fine too. But you know what they say? If he ain't 6'3, I'm headed for the streets. <laughs> Bitch, if he ain't 6'4, head for the door. <laughs> Um, no offense, but I don't think he would want to talk to you anyway. Goodbye, because I can have any man I want. I mean, I wouldn't say that. So what are you trying to say? It's just... You mad big, like... Are you <gasps> fat shaming? He definitely What is wrong is. with you? I hate that. No, no, baby, I don't cry. That. He's a I man. Know. You know I how they that. act. I, I hate like that. that. Yo. Stop body shaming. That's not good. Yeah. You know the fashion... The women is not if, I, if I told you... Understand? Yeah, if I told you that the fashion world that you follow was designed by men, what would you say? Everything that you follow in fashion today is by men. Yeah. When you wear high heels... Because men are good at design. No, no, no. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the feminists will agree with you. <laughs> okay? They will tell you are, you are going against the women's ability and their intellect. Yeah. Because the women can design very nicely, alhamdulillah, yeah? yeah? It's true. Okay. Man want to be taken out and all this other stuff. Like, you a man. Like, be a man. Like A man, uh, hold on, hold on. You want a man of the Bible, so that's a traditional man, correct? Yeah. But modern day women aren't traditional themselves. Why Whoa. should he be traditional? It's the generation now. Oh. 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 You could bring some big energy. You don't have to have a big dick. Oh, that's big energy. That just, like, I feel like that's just a way of saying, like, he's a cool guy. And have then you used small dick energy? Probably. Probably just... To describe what? An asshole. A okay. douchebag. Who here is for body positivity? Yes. Yeah. Who isn't? For body positivity. I hope you are. Yes. How can you simultaneously say that you're for body positivity, but then also use these terms? Because it's not actually about their body. The reverse? Like, Y'all would lose your shit if, if we were talking about loose the energy, <laughs> caver cavernous that energy, Dang. small energy, girl energy. Like, Y'all would lose your minds if guys were using these terms the same way that women use big energy, small Self-improvement, men or women? Men, but they're all gonna say women. Self-improvement, definitely women. Okay, rate yourself on a scale of one to 10. I'm a 10, I'm a 10, I'm a 10. Let's see, like, it, they literally are about to be hypocrites in the first sense. Women are better at self-improvement, but I'm already perfect. I know this because they all think the same thing. Listen. Hands across the board. Oh, period. Okay. And they don't even realize the irony of that statement. They just so proudly look at the fucking lack of self-awareness and just all the pride on their faces for Instagram. Saying you're a 10, admitting there's no room for improvement? No. No, no. not at all. Isn't the first step towards improvement admitting you're not perfect? You're right. We yes. were perfect. We just said we we're your kings. You s focus on yourself, kings. Don't waste your don't waste your attention. Don't waste your energy on them. What up? What up? What up? This is Mike the philosopher here with another one. This one is about what I would call the gray zone. What is the gray zone or the gray area? Well, the gray zone is where I've discovered and I created this zone. Now, some might say, well, it always existed, but I'm actually slapping a label on it officially. And this is something that I've noticed that is an area that seemingly a lot of women like to live in. What is this gray zone that women like to live in, Mike the philosopher? Well, let me tell you. The gray zone is an area where women feel that they can escape accountability. Okay, now accountability 
uh, is a bit of an issue, not just with black women, but all women on the planet, especially Western women. Okay. And it's some, it's an area that they've created a safe haven that they can go and live to escape accountability. Now, some might say, well, give me some examples of this. Okay. Let me give you some examples. What do you call these two guys? First word that pop in your head is probably fat. Okay. What do you call these two women? The first thing to pop up in your head is probably singers. The gray zone is an area where women can go and not be judged like men are judged. When it comes to women, overweight is body positivity. But when it comes to men, overweight is just fat. Let me give you another example. A man for a lot of women making less than six figures is broke. A woman making less than six figures is independent. Okay. Rarely will you hear men or women call women making less than six figures broke. Saying a woman is broke is a is a cliche that just hasn't caught on yet. But saying a man is broke, that's sweeping the nation. Okay? Let me give you another example. A black woman dislikes when a black man marries a white woman especially if that black man has a lot of money but when a black woman marries a white man you hear the soothing tones of crickets You don't hear anything about it. And the question is, why is this? Well, it's because it's the old, I can do what you can't do so that I can have an unfair advantage. I can claim body positivity. I can claim independence as a woman I can claim to to date and marry white men but you cannot do any of these things you cannot date outside your race as a black man I can travel the world and have a good time but you as a black man you become a predator of some sort you become broke and dusty okay you're desperate you can't be a passport bro women have done a great job of creating a gray area 
and a gray zone for them to live in. And it's mainly in the Western side of society, Western culture to be exact. Men don't have any areas to hide in. Our world is two colors, black and white. We are put in these categories. You're either broke or you're not. You're either fat or you're not. You either look good or you don't. You either got a huge Johnson or you're small. We live in a black and white world as men. But women do not like to get categorized. So they escape to the gray zone where they can live comfortably, sip tea, eat cookies, and chat amongst themselves and live a fabulous life with one pinky in the air. Now, this might sound like some type of a female dislike video. It always oh, far from that. It's not that. Here at Black Man Rankings, we absolutely adore women. We love women. We will continue to love women forever. This is not to shame them. But if you feel that you're offended by this video as a woman, it's because you are actually proving my point of accountability. You're actually proving my point of your gray zone. But if you agree, then this whole video may be wrong. You decide which one it is. In the meantime, hit the like, share, and subscribe. And we will catch you in the next one. Peace.